What is going on, boxing world? It's your boy, Martin Moreno, a.k.a. The Boxing Purist, Truth and Absolute Channel, here to give you my prediction for tonight's fight between Terrence Crawford and Showtime Sean Porter. I'm going to break down the fight for y'all, give you my prediction on the fight. Man, I don't know about y'all, but once a good fight like this is ready to hit, man, the palms start getting sweaty. I start thinking about their fights, you know, their previous fights, the way the fight, how it could break down, how the fight could go. Um, obviously, you know, uh, it's boxing, so the puncher's chance and how that plays an effect into this fight. So I'm excited, y'all. I know you guys are too. So let's start with my man Terrence Crawford. We all know Terrence Crawford is a beast. We know that Terrence Crawford could box. He could fight orthodox. He could switch it to southpaw. He could knock you out. It seems like he got power in both hands. Um, and he's good, man. He, he's, he's, he's nice inside of that ring. His boxing IQ is up there. He hasn't been up there with the elite at his weight class. Um, I mean, he's been in there with decent fighters. I mean, what is it? Uh, Victor Postal. He uh, gave, I believe he gave um, Yuri Gamboa his first loss, which was an impressive fight because he was losing like the first four rounds. He switched it to Southpaw and ended up stopping Gamboa, I believe. It was a good fight overall. Um, I would say that's my only knock on Terrence Crawford, man, is the level of opposition that he's faced, and he hasn't been too, too active. A part of that's promotional from what we read in here, but who knows? You know what I'm saying? Then you got Sean Porter. Sean Porter is an animal. We know the guy will fight anybody. We know that he's been in there with a lot of top guys in that um, in that weight class, in those weight classes. Um, my hugest knock on Showtime Sean Porter is that I know, you know, the rest of the world knows, and more importantly, Terrence Crawford knows exactly what Sean Porter is going to bring to the table. As much as an animal as he is inside that ring, and as much as he likes to fight, we know what he's going to come to do. We've only seen, seen him come and be a bulldozer inside that ring. He pressures you. He throws a lot of punches. He, he smothers you with, with his attack. The only problem is, is that that's all he's known to do. So I don't know how he could switch it up in any other way. We've seen glimpses of him try to box and stuff, but in my opinion, he's not the best boxer when it comes to just boxing skills. Um, however, the experience is in his favor with the opposition that he has faced. So all that being said... How I see this fight breaking down, I feel like the first few rounds, maybe this two, three rounds, Porter's going to hop to an early lead. I think that he's going to smother Terrence Crawford with his attack. I think that, you know, it is uh, stepping up in opposition for Terrence Crawford. So I think that's going to happen. I think Terrence Crawford's going to adjust to Sean Porter. And when he's coming in, coming in, coming in, he's probably going to, you know, have that walking stick for when Porter comes walking in, as did Kell Brook when he fought Sean Porter. Now, I understand Sean Porter has come a long way since he lost to Kell Brook, but Kell Brook was, for the most part, able to keep Sean Porter off of him. Spence, we all know Spence decided to train bang, bang, and bang with Sean Porter, which he won the fight, but damn, you take a lot of punishment that way. You don't get points in boxing for getting beat up, you know what I'm saying? The fans get entertained, but it doesn't, there's no points on your resume for taking a beating, even if you win. So, how I feel it's going to play out, I think that Sean Porter's going to get out to an early lead. I think Bud's going to take over. I think that he's going to be able to counter him over and over. I think by the 10th round, he's going to have Showtime broken down, and I believe that he stops him late in the fight. I'm calling it 10th round. I'm calling it 10th round stoppage. I don't think he knocks him out cold, but I do believe that he's going to stop him late in the fight. So that's what I'm predicting. That's what I think is going to happen. Let me know what you guys are predicting for this fight. I mean, we're only hours away, so happy fight night to y'all. Let me know what you guys think. Um, stop by my channel. I hope you like this video. Hit that like button, subscribe. Drop a comment, y'all. Enjoy the fight night. God bless. Peace.